Hello everyone, welcome back to me playing Maple Story on my eggs and on. So, where's Supreme gone? I don't know, but let's get on with it. So, there's my character level 14 so far. So, okay, and I'm back. So, last time we were going on an adventure, weren't we? So I can't quite recall what the adventure was, or oh, what on earth happened to me five minutes later. Uh, let's find out. I'm just going to skip through all this because it's not too important. Okay. There's a Maple Story event going on. Let's skip through most of this too. That's not even in English. Let's just build ourselves up with these quests in case they're important later on. Let's go them up. Oh, okay. Thank you for the level. For those who didn't know, press on the button now. For those who didn't know, um, I was going with the whatever I want to stat system. Whatever I want to skill. Oh, what on earth has happened here? What on earth? Okay. Uh, select. The job system has changed a lot. Uh, oh, I'm shocked. Anyway, let's go with passive skill. Because I like passive skills a lot. Um, enhance the Number moves? Increase normal stats relative to movement. Yeah, why not? Uh, well, you could just chop nine straight in. Uh, okay, I just did. That's very really strange. I do not understand the new skill system. It's what on earth happened, Maple Story? What on earth happened, guys? Tell me. What's all these abilities down there? Man, this is looking so different to what it used to. Could someone please explain all in the comments? So that'd be really great. So it would help if I found out what on earth I'm doing up here. So let's open up quest. Push the draw reports and the chips. Okay, so we're collecting chips from these guys, I believe. Um Oh, come on, do you want to enable dictation? No, thank you. Good, there we go. Now we're getting on with it. So I have got some notable um, attack skill. I can't recall what it was called. Let's soon find out. Yeah, let's have a look. One of these guys, I believe. Oh, pinpoint rocket, that's the one. What key did I have that on before? Let's go to key bindings. I see. That's the one. Let's see how much of this helps if at all. Okay, it helps. So it's not useless. Yeah, this Apple Keyboard is not too great for gaming on at all. So I will probably switch it to my old clunky Windows keyboard. You never know, be bothered to get around to it. Oh nice, something we can sell. That's a good start. I don't think you can but actually you may be able to because it's pirate. Or is it thief? Thief or pirate, like this. They're kind of the same thing really. Okay, inventory's changed a lot too. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> this is all just mental. Guys, what on earth is going on to Maple Story? Seriously, it's not the same. No, it looks the same, it just doesn't play or seem the same. I think they've kind of lost part of the beauty from the skill tree. Because the way it was before, sort of, it's, it's Maple Story, it's, it's original, kind of. 
Whereas now it just looks generic, like in most MMORPGs, that you can just download that have better graphics and stuff than this. So it's kind of a shame to see Nev's story lose a bit of its originality and sort of um, the uniqueness that it used to have from that. But it may be an improvement, we are right now until we find out, really. So, do they give me any skill sets? Let's have a look at that. Seriously, Maple. Seriously, next one. What are you doing? So let's have a look. Etc. Nothing in the except for that's normally where they're placed. Excellent chair, nice. So let's see. You can enhance items, configure potential and combine scores. Bits inventory. And you can identify for free, is that? You can identify for free now, that's quite a good thing. So this has dex percentage 1%, which is good for a noob to begin with. So, speaking of um, Utopia and Comments actually, I'm not too sure how many. Oh, what's this magical box? Yeah, so you can up. You still put it to answer the box. And I'm assuming you get that from the NX shop. Yes, the cash shop. Synonymous with making a lot of people spend money. The main way um, next on make money. So let's exit out of that because I don't want to be spending any money. So, there we go. Yeah, that's what I was saying. On the note of commenting, um, I'm not too sure if people actually like the Maple Story series that's on at the moment. So I may end this series and stop playing Maple Story for a while. But if you like this or you think you'll get into it eventually, what's that? Then I may cash shop item again. I may um, continue going on with it. If I get enough comments, I definitely will be continuing with it. So there's a mace, which I'm not too sure you can equip. See, it's in such a strange class on me, so I don't have a clue what you can equip at all. So my story's changed from a game of like three, four classes and a nice unique skill tree and unique um, way of sorting stats out to change into a game that has like I've got, I don't know, 10 different characters, uh, less skill, sort of less uniqueness of skill abilities because people just automatically chuck them in, which isn't too bad, I can't remember that too much. Um, and then they've changed the skill system and it just looks generic as anything. So another thing is, when this game was first released, because I've played it since base, I've played GMS very early too, and when they were released we didn't have um, Monsters didn't give so much XP, so it would take a whole day to get to level it. Well, not a whole day, that's exaggerating, but you know, it would take a long time to get to level 70. It used to take some people a year or more to get to level 70, funny enough. But nowadays, people can get to level 70 in a week if they want to easy. It just shows you how much it has changed, and it's a shame because. It was such an original, hard work, side scrolling game. And sad for it's, there's lots of side scrolling games that are to this now. Um, because this has turned into what they were, pretty much. This has got some benefits because it's quite quirky still. You can still do things that you can't on other games. And it's still the most popular 2D side scrolling game available that I know of. So if you can think of any other. Um, popular 2D uh, side-scrolling RPGs, tell me because I do love side-scrolling RPGs so much. I don't know why, just don't ask. I just don't like 3D ones as much for some reason. Sadly, this one's got the most users, but it's it's definitely gone downhill for me. But as I was saying, if you want to see more videos of me playing this, 
you have to say in the comments because if you don't, I will just one day magically stop. This may be the last episode, depending on what you do. So. Let's finish this first off. Let's turn this quest back in. So you have to go through this secret tunnel thing you still have to do. I'm pretty sure you did that too. I mean, this place hasn't changed much. There we go. Hello, random person. Oh, it was back at the train place, wasn't it? Let's go there. Ah, oh, silly windows. Come on, man. Get it together, windows. Okay, so we've done that quest, leveled up. We're now at level 16, and we get to continue the adventure by talking to Brighton, which is a place where, you know, well, it's a place in England, and it's, it's a place in America too, obviously. Um, so, thank you for watching. Remember, say in the comments if you want me to keep this up. Or if you can know, know of any other 2D size problem RPGs, like my story, that have a good user base, tell me. So, thank you for watching, subscribe, and take care.